Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. One feature of Luminar 4 that I think is underutilized are luminosity masks. With a luminosity mask, what you're doing is telling Luminar 4 to find all the brighter pixels in an image, select those, and mask everything else out. When you do that, any adjustments you do will then only affect those brighter pixels and nothing else. Well, you could take this one step further. You could tell Luminar 4 to create a luminosity mask, select all those brighter pixels, then invert the mask. When you do that, now all the darker pixels are selected, everything else is masked out, and any adjustments you do will be done to those darker pixels. Now this is a great tool to use when you want to target adjustments to specific tones in an image. This image here, you could almost say it's almost like two different images. The bottom part is really underexposed. So all the grass, the pond, the statues, the hill in the background, the trees are really, really dark. But the sky is properly exposed. This is a perfect image to utilize luminosity masks. I could create a luminosity mask that will only affect the darker part and then a different luminosity mask and different adjustments that will only affect the brighter part. Now, there's two different types of luminosity masks inside of Luminar 4. The filters, at least most of them, have a luminosity mask as well. You would open up any filter like black and white conversion, go to edit mask, and you can see there's masking there and luminosity mask at the very bottom. So the filters have them. But since I want to do a bunch of different adjustments to the bottom part and a bunch of different adjustments to the top part of this image, a better mask to use is a layer mask. So we'll go up to the layers and you can see we have our base layer here. This background layer is the raw file. It's from a Nikon camera. There's no masking on this. So what we need to do is just add a layer above it. You could add an adjustment layer, you could duplicate this mask, whatever you need to do to create a layer above this layer. And I'm just going to duplicate this layer. So I'll click on the three dots and go to duplicate layer. So we have a duplicate of the layer and now you see at the bottom we have edit mask. So I'm gonna go down here, click there, and click on luminosity. And you can see at the top it's creating a luminosity mask. Now depending on the resolution of your image, and the speed of your computer, this could take some time. But what's, what it's doing is, as I mentioned, it's selecting the brighter pixels in this image. That includes the highlights and the brighter midtones. But I don't want to adjust those to start with. I want to adjust the darker part at the bottom to start with. So once it does create this luminosity mask, I'm going to invert it so that I actually have the darkest pixels and the darker midtone selected, and then everything else is masked out. All right, it created the luminosity mask, but as I mentioned, it now has the brighter pixels and the brighter midtone selected and everything else masked out. I want to invert it. So I'm going to go to the three dots again, go down to the bottom where it says mask, and go to invert. So it flip-flopped the masks. Now any adjustments I do will mainly be applied to the darker part of the image and the darker midtones. So I'll go to the Essentials panel. I'll go up to Light. And right away, I want to open up Shadows. So I'll push those open like that. And you can see how it's mainly affecting the bottom part of the image and some of the darker midtones that may be up in this cloud up here. And we'll go to um, Advanced Settings. And I'm going to get a black point. I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key in on my keyboard and just move it to the left till I start to clip a little bit and then back it off a little bit. There. So now we have it a little more balanced, but I still want to do some more adjustments to just the bottom part of this image. So I'm going to go to Color, and we're going to go to Advanced Settings, and I'm going to go to Yellow, and I'm going to increase the luminance of the yellow because I just want it brighter. Um, I'll go to green and I'm going to increase the green as well. You can see we're getting that bottom part a little brighter. Maybe add a little more saturation to green as well. And then I think I'll go to AI structure. I'll add some structure. It's mainly going to affect the bottom part. It's not going to really touch the clouds. The clouds aren't being affected 
by these adjustments. And um, I think that might be good for now. Now I want to do a set of adjustments that will only affect the clouds. So we're going to get a new layer and a new luminosity mask for that. To do that, we'll go up to the Layers panel. And we'll click on this little plus sign this time. And we could just get an adjustment layer. So I'm going to click Add New Adjustment Layer. And it added the adjustment layer. I'm going to go down to the bottom of that layer and click on Edit Mask and go to Luminosity Mask. Now it's going to create a luminosity mask for this layer. And by default, it's going to select the brighter pixels and the brighter midtones. That's what I want it to do. That's what I want to work on. All right, it created our luminosity mask for this top layer, which is now going to only affect the sky and some of the midtones uh, that are a bit brighter. So we'll go to the Essentials tab. And I think I'll just um, I'll go to Color. And I'm going to go to Blue. And I'm going to bring the luminance of blue down a little bit. Get some of that blue sky a little darker. Um, then I'm going to go to Details Enhancer. We'll add some detail to the clouds. I kind of like sometimes like detailed clouds. So we'll add that. You can see it's not really affecting the trees. It's mainly affecting the clouds at the top. I'll even go to some structure there and add some structure to those as well. Um, I think that's pretty good right in there uh, like that. Now, if I want to do any adjustments to the entire image, what I'll need to do is create another layer. So we'll go up to the Layers panel. And I'll click on the little plus sign and we'll add a new adjustment layer. Now we're not going to add a mask to this. We'll go to the Essentials panel. If I go to the light, you'll see that if I say turn exposure all the way down, it will affect the entire image. And I'll reset that. So these adjustments now affect everything. So what I could do here is let's say I just go to AI Enhance. And I just do that a little bit there. And I go to Vignette and I add a Vignette. Yeah, like that, I guess. There we go. So that is how you utilize luminosity masking in Luminar 4. Now, I use layer masks. You could remember, do this with individual adjustments as well. If you only, let's say, want to add detail to the trees, you could uh, go to Edit Mask here and go to Luminosity, invert that mask so it only affects the darker pixels, and you could add details only to there. And that will only affect the trees, but your other filters will affect everything unless you mask those as well. There is a before and there's after. Before, after. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.